and welcome to Theater Law, where we explore the law in theater, the theater in law, vice versa, and vice versa again. I'm your host, Joan Kelly Haywith. Recently, controversy has erupted over the hit Broadway musical, A Vietnam Diary, based on the best-selling novel by Ming Wen. Daryl Thomas, ex-dramaturg for the play, has filed a lawsuit claiming he was not given credit for writing several songs and pages of dialogue, as well as changing it from a tragedy into a drawing room comedy. I caught up with Daryl earlier this week in a theater downtown. Originally, I was hired as a dramaturg on the production, but as time went on, my role changed. For example, I wrote lyrics to many songs, including It's a Hard Knock South Eastern Asian Life, uh -huh. The Sun Will Come Out of Her Saigon Tomorrow, Oof. and, of course, Vietnam, mm. which is based on the titular song from the musical Oklahoma. I also created the character of Joe Friday, who, as you know, marries the main character in the end. And yet, when you asked the writer Bill Shakes to be recognized as co-author of the play... He refused. Yeah. Now, there are rumors that you are mounting a rival production of A Vietnam Diary across town. Is this true? It's sort of. You see, I want the public to know exactly how much I've contributed to this play. So what my lawyers and I have done is take out every word that I added to Diary, including the ands, the buts, and the thus. I kind of mesh them all together into a 20-minute play that I like to call ABD. An ABD. Is it similar to A Vietnam Diary? It's the same plot. Yeah, but my, my play is far superior. You see, while, while we don't have all the verbs that the Broadway version does, I, I, I think that that's really like a minor point. For example, here's the scene from the original play. Ming, I couldn't get on that chopper. Not without you. And I could not leave my diary behind. My Vietnam diary. I love you. I love you too, Yo Friday. And now here's my version with my words only. Ming, get that, you. No, I couldn't. Diary. Diary. I, you. I, you, Friday. My lawyers weren't able to get all of the words, really. We got. The key nouns, though. Couldn't really get the kiss in there, either. But I think the handshake works, though. You know? Still very powerful. I caught up with the writer Bill Shakes and the composer Elton James to see just how this lawsuit is affecting their production. First of all, the cast and crew have been fantastic! Yes, no candles in the wind here. And we're still the best show on Broadway. We've had to make a few minor changes because of the pending lawsuit. We've cut the marriage scene at the end, so now our characters are living in sin. <laughs> yes, and we had to cut all the parts that Daryl claims he wrote, but the show is still standing at its original length of three and a half. Half hours, though. How'd you do it? We've added long silences. Wherever there were words before, we now have meaningful pauses. Oh, here's a scene. I couldn't. On that chopper. Not without. Leave my... behind. My... Vietnam! Love! Love! Yo! A 
I believe the question on everyone's mind is just how this lawsuit will be affecting the upcoming film version of A Vietnam Diary, slated to be in theaters this summer. Morticia Mogul, producer of the film. Hi. Hi. Our solution for bypassing this tricky legal mess was to buy the rights from everyone who had anything to do with the play. Mm. We even bought the word diary. Look in the dictionary next year and you'll see my face next to it. Vietnam was unfortunately unavailable for purchase, but we have several words that rhyme with it. Point is, I have spent over $500 million in pre-production, making this the most expensive movie ever made. Unfortunately, before we began filming, the star of the play died. Ben Fleck, who is also the star of your film. That's correct. Unfortunately, so much money had been spent, I couldn't abort production. Luckily enough, our parent company, Giant Studios, owns the rights to the cop drama Chicago PD Hope, which Ben Fleck fortunately starred in. What we've done is digitally insert him into our film by using scenes in which he played the punk cop Caliban on Chicago PD Hope. It's a little jarring, but I think overall it works. I believe you have a scene for us. I believe I do. This is the last scene. We can sit in this room all day. It doesn't matter to me. We'll sit in this room until you tell me who killed Rodriguez, you piece of scum. I couldn't leave my diary behind. My Vietnam diary. Because I'm a cop. And being a cop is all I'm good at. I love you too, you Friday. Well, that looks like a blockbuster. I believe that's all the time we have. Join me next week when I'll be meeting with the team from the off-Broadway drama Killing Howard Kemp, and with Howard Kemp himself, who is suing the team for killing him six nights a week and two matinees on weekends. I'm Joan Kelly Haywith, and this has been Theater Law.